Hey team, it's James here with Megawatt. I'm often asked, where does the name Megawatt come from? Well, it's because Megawatt's capable of producing a megawatt of electricity every single month. What does that mean in terms of capability? Well, an average US household uses roughly a megawatt of electricity every month. So yes, if I were to drive megawatt down a US neighborhood street and plug him into a household, yes, he could power a home for an entire month. But that only tells half the story. In the storage bay, Megawatt also has 41,000 watts worth of lithium battery power to power Megawatt when there's no sun available and as well as overnight. So it just so happens I decided to take Megawatt out for a little trip this weekend to rural Oklahoma, middle of nowhere where there's no hookups. But it's also going to rain all three days that I'm out here. So what does that mean? Will I have to run the generator? Will I have to find a place to hook up? Will I have to leave? The answer is no. Right now, at my current consumption, Megawatt can last of roughly two and a half days in pitch black darkness. Now, that calculation will change if I decide to run a load of laundry, if I decide to run the air conditioners a little heavier. Right now, they're set at 74 degrees up front and 72 degrees in the rear. And keeping the coach cool, right now, Megawatt can run for the next two and a half days. That timeline gets extended if the sun pops out today, a little bit tomorrow, or the day after. Megawatt has very, very high voltage, so roughly 6.30 in the morning, if there's a little bit of sunlight popping out, he's able to take that solar power and push it into those batteries. So I'm actually pretty excited to share with you what happens. We'll see what happens with the consumption overnight and what happens tomorrow, and I'll check in with you guys first thing in the morning and let you know how things went. See you in the campground.